Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. And as of right now, this video is going to be exclusive for patrons. So thank you for everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. This video is probably going to make its way over to YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not a patron, click the link down in the description and you can support this channel for as little as $1 a month. If you guys haven't been following along with the channel, you know that this is the version four of the Enhanced Summon. So the software versions have gone through four iterations of the Enhanced Summon that's been pushed out to beta testers. Before we get too deep into the video, after today's testing, I'm very certain that what we're seeing here is just strictly Tesla testing the optical sensors. Like, is the car gonna hit a curb? Is it gonna hit something? That's what they're using as beta testing for. I think when version 10 comes out, that's when we're gonna see it being able to park into a parking spot and they're gonna incorporate its vision system in identifying the lines and driving on a certain side of the road. So don't look for that here in this video. Now, of course you see this car coming and the person who's controlling this Tesla doing the enhanced summon stops the test right here because of this car. I kind of wish we could have seen what would happen. Now the summon was stopped here, so we don't know what the car would have done. I think it probably would have pulled forward a little bit and then probably reversed depending on what this off-white Kia would have done. So we won't know for sure and since the test was stopped, I went ahead and moved the car manually. Okay, so I reset the car in the exact same parking spot and we're gonna try the enhanced summon again. So you can see the reverse lights coming on, but the mirror is still folded in. That's a great indication of you as another driver or as a pedestrian knowing that this car is doing enhanced summon. Obviously you could look in at and see that there's nobody sitting in the driver's seat. Now, take a look at how it kind of owned that reverse, I think more than the first time. I wanna show you that again. It was very confident and I feel like versus my last video and now I did get to see, um, I didn't have any video footage, but I did get to see the second and third iteration of Enhanced Summon and it, it's gotten more and more confident and you can see here how it's kind of strolling down, but we're still, Again, having the same kind of, uh, I wanna say issue, but it's not really an issue because I think, you know, like, yes, there is a car there per se, but I think, like I said, this version isn't reading the lines. It's just saying, hey, can the optical system pick up curbs, pick up cars, people, and not hit something? So I think that's what primarily Tesla is focusing on when it's testing this version of software. And it's not till version 10 that we're gonna actually see the car pulling in and parking spot like we would expect in that the car would follow the lines throughout the parking lot and the specific parking spaces. Now, as I do realize that this video might be posted to YouTube later, I wanna give some troubleshooting steps for people who might have a, trying to do enhanced summon, but it gets stuck. If you do regular summon just a couple feet like you see here and then stop it, the enhanced summon will start up again. So again, just put your car in regular summon and then put it into reverse or whatever direction you're trying to get the car to go, just a couple feet and then stop it and then go back into the app to enhance summon. And then once you start enhanced summon, like you'll see here, then the car is actually gonna perform the enhanced summon. I have found that in some points for whatever reason, I don't know if it's your phone's GPS or how it's talking to the vehicle for whatever reason, it sometimes I would say, it happened once here today uh, that it would just get locked up. So I think it's very rare, but if you do run into this situation, there is a helpful troubleshooting tip for you. So here we have the car reversing out of a parking spot doing a summon, sending it to a specific point on a map, which is, you can see how it backs up very confidently, like I said before. So go back and look at my other enhanced summon video, and I really think that this is performing a lot better and smoother than it did in the previous test. So you can see it's going roughly about three miles per hour. I would like to see that 
speed go up a little bit, but at the same time, because this is such new software, I really do understand why Tesla is limiting the speed because they wanna ensure that your car doesn't run into one of these curbs. Now you can see here, it looks like the car is gonna take it beautifully and then continue straight for some odd reason. You can see when we watch that again, that it is like the Tesla is really gonna make a really smooth right turn, but it has to back up and then it ends up going the right way like we want it to. It just might not be the most ideal way to do it. Of course, as a human driver, you know, this enhanced summit is not outperforming a human driver in a parking lot, I will say, yet. You know, I really think that as software updates come, this is going to just get better and better. We've already seen huge improvements, like I said previously in the video. So it does pull right in to the exact point on the map that we have set. And again, like I said, it's not paying attention to any of the lines. That's coming in version 10, which should be out to early testers in August. But overall, that summon test was really smooth. So now let's take it from the point where it ended and we're gonna set a point right over here next to this white Model 3 that you see, and we're going to summon the car out from where it ended. So you can see the summon started a little bit, and so it's going to reverse out just like a normal driver would here. And I think the speed is pretty good right there as, long, as far as that reverse goes. And now it's heading straight forward, and if you remember, there is a curb right here in this intersection, and it, is clearly going to clear it but it decides to reverse just a little bit it's i think over cautious because the last thing we want is some curb rash while we're doing enhanced summon so it's very hesitant and i think that has to do with where this brick and the asphalt meet it's probably pretty confusing for the car and it wants to ensure that it's not a curb so it takes a nice wide wide sweeping angle and of course my car is right there the white model 3 like you guys have seen in my other videos and it clears it but then it stops right here and says yeah we're close enough okay summon is complete so we did put the pin or the target in one of those parking spots and it was really close so i think in version 10 is when we're going to see it actually pull into that parking spot and that's so simple to do because Tesla already has the auto park feature. So it just has to stitch that in to the enhanced summon. And then you're going to have this feature complete system. So like I previously mentioned with the summon getting stuck, I feel like it got stuck most of the time whenever the car was at a slight incline. You can see that this portion of the parking lot isn't very flat and I think there's some sort of sensor in the car letting the car know that it's not flat. So that's why it was having a really difficult time summoning over there. Now it did eventually do the summon, so don't let me discourage you. Like, <laughs> I really think that this feature is ready to be released to everybody. I just think that everybody needs to understand how this feature is supposed to be used. It's not, you know, I don't think this is ready to be taken to Costco just yet on a Saturday morning. Take a look at how when this car starts to move forward, it is really, really smooth until we get to this transition here where it is almost comes to, definitely comes to a complete stop before it goes into reverse because of the transition between this brick in the parking lot and this asphalt. Now I know there's a lot of parking lots out there that have let's say a crosswalk that's made out of brick or some different color or concrete parking lot. So this is definitely something that Tesla's gonna have to solve. Now it does a great job getting around this curb here, but it almost does too good of a job trying to avoid the curb. You can see there that it should have taken the left turn just a hair bit earlier, but it does have enough room to sweep around, even though for me, it uh, got a little bit too close to my white Model 3 for comfort, I would say I would have liked it a slightly more into that road a little bit and not kind of, I would say, three feet from my car. Now, I know I just threw a lot at you in a lot of different tests, but believe it or not, I do still have more tests where we actually tested a speed bump. I'm still trying to go through that video footage, so definitely stay tuned 
for that video. Thank you so much to you on Patreon who got to watch this as I'm recording it. I'm gonna upload it right now. But if you guys are watching this later on YouTube and you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It really helps a lot just by hitting that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up also. If you know somebody else who's interested in hand summon, share this video with them. I wanna give a huge shout out to all of you over on Patreon. It is huge and awesome that you're supporting me over there. Our man of men and Akrama Tool, thank you so much for supporting me at the all electric level. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. When you see another Tesla on the road and you're engaged in autopilot, the proper way to wave to them is with two hands waving frantically when you see the other Tesla.